So welcome to this video. I'm going to change the battery of uh, a Yule Packet Pavilion G6 Notebook PC. It's not uh, main battery, but it's uh, this one. It's uh, battery for the clock. So the first thing we have to do is to be sure that this is switched off. So we uh, we um, switch it off. And then we take out the power cable. We turn it around and we take out the battery. This machine has uh, a sc screw in the middle, so we open that one and we get access to the hard drive and we can remove the hard drive. Be careful. And we remove the RAM, read access memory, careful. And the next thing is to remove this one. I think it's some kind of um, uh, ready communi communication to Wi Fi, or I'm not sure, but uh, it might be. I'm not sure what this is. This is, but it has to be removed. We take out uh, this screw, and we see that this is short screw. We need to remember that we used a short screw here when we put it back in. Be careful with this. There is another screw here that is uh, important to remove now, and this is the screw is here. So before we can do anything on the top, we remove this one. This screw is for the keyboard. So the next thing we are we will do is to remove the keyboard. Turn it around. We need some tools. We need these plastic plastic tools here. What do you call them? This is more like a plector for playing the guitar. Uh, I'd like to try that out. So we open the, the top. And we try to get put this under under here. We can put some of the other one, the thicker one. And we just this will not it will not be so easy the first time you do this because there will be some glue under here. And uh, on this machine there is no more glue left. Be careful. We now have to. Uh, we will now open this this lock and take out this uh, connector. We put this keyboard a safe place. There are some screws around here four all together, so we we open this and we use this um, a magnet, it's a good thing to have a magnet to take care of all the screws so you will not lose them. 
So there are small screws on this one. There are still some more connectors there, but we can wait. But there are no no need to wait, so we can open this. Here, this is the connector for the for the mouse tracker or what you call it. Oh, I need some other tool here. Just be a bit careful. And now there is only one left and this is a bit hard. So now all connectors are loose, three of them all together. No, four of them with the keyboard. And we turn it upside down again. And we remove all the screws that are under this one, under the computer. In the corners there are big screws, long screws. It will not come up, but it's loose. Not sure if these are all, but I, will. I assume that they are. That they removed all of them. Just check. I think I forgot this one. So now I am finished with all the, um, I removed all the screws from the back of the computer. And I can now open up the, comp open up this, the top, which is a bit, I think it should come off, come off now.
might be a school that I forgot. I'm not sure. Didn't I take all of them? No, I didn't. Once again, Just be careful and not destroying the computer. It's an old computer, but it still works, so it's no use to, to, to destroy it. I think it's getting off now. I think it's coming off here. Oh, here it is. An extra screw that I forgot. one here too. This is difficult to find. Difficult to see if you don't see the last screw, a big large long one. Voila. So we are now ready to remove the the motherboard and um, to remove the motherboard we need to to remove these connectors so be careful not destroying the machine and um, you see here there is a USB connector and uh, there is some I think it's possible to make it it's loose now. I think we have one more. There might be a screw here. Yes, in this corner there is a screw. And then this is done. Everything is okay, but we have to we need to op we will need to open up this take out this um, connector too so now we have almost all connectors are but this one is a, so i think this will come off and be very careful with um, with the motherboard so put it in a very safe place with no static electricity. So we see here it's uh, gone off totally. So it's we can just close it and we can again get the motherboard and we can find where we are putting this um, battery. 
very careful. The battery, I had already taken out the battery earlier and uh, the connector is here so I can connect the battery. It would be possible to connect the battery earlier in the process but then it will be not so easy to remove it. So I will need some uh, adhesive tape here. So I take a pause for the 